There is a crisis in our country, one of exclusion and inequality. This crisis is skipping leg day. The cries of millions can be heard screaming, Don't skip leg day, bro! However, some have picked up this torch and taken it too far towards hypertrophy heaven. The cowpea's sheep is the main offender. The cowpea's gene was just recently discovered. The genetic mutation that causes hypertrophy in sheep was first noted in 1983 when a Dorset ram by the name of Solid Gold was born and was later bred to many ewes due to his excessive muscling. Since Solid Gold was bred so many times, his offspring spread all over the United States. When the mutation was discovered, it was first thought of as a production breakthrough due to the increased yield of red meat. However, research proved that the protein fibers were much different than that of normal sheep. The muscle fibers of cow peas sheep are much less tender, and packers often discriminate against the harvest of the impacted animals due to the consumer being less likely to be satisfied with the product. Moreover, producers have found that it is harder for Calpesian dams to lamb due to the decreased size of the birth canal. Some tall tale science that your lamb has been putting in the extra work at the gym to show off its Calpesianess is excessive definition of the legs, forearm, rack, and loin, up to 40% larger than the average non-gym goers. Also, having a steep hip and an intermuscular groove from the neck to the dock, it is no surprise that Calpesia's Greek translated into beautiful buttocks. It is hard to pinpoint the symptoms of the Calpesia gene as they are not presented at birth. Producers and buyers are to be very wary of well-muscled lambs, especially when they are found in flocks with other lambs that have below average muscling. Three common signs of the Calpesia gene include Extremely well-defined and delineated muscling of the legs, forearm, rack, and loin, the likelihood to have a steeper hip, and the distinct intermuscular groove that extends from the neck down to the dock. We beg you, sheep, please, skip leg day. Working out is important, but the flattering shape found in calipede sheep is owed to their genes and not the ones found on their legs. The sheep get their unique structure from their sire a rare phenomenon known as polar overdominance. Gene responsible is normally switched off at birth, but the mutation causes the gene to stay active, which causes reduced protein degradation. The endemic rise of sheep falling prey to the eternal leg day syndrome is a disaster that can be attributed to corrupted genes. Studies have shown that a genetic mutation forces the mind to leave behind proper workout routines creating monstrous, muscle-bound sheep. Furthermore, all sheep have found with the gene have been known to submit their heterozygous offspring to the leg-lifting disease, committing them to a life of squats and deadlifts, all cardio forgotten to the side. Geneticists have turned the patterns of these serial leg-lifters as polar over-dominant. As the media, we can assure you that this name is due to the tyrannical and cold nature of the Calypti gene owners. The calyptogy oppression is only triggered in sheep herds absent of their homozygotic heirs. That is to say that sheep obsessed with getting swole legs only force their addiction on families untainted with the disease. Mothers with silent calyptogy genes are fated to spawn children, expressive, and chiseled calves. There is no treatment for calipige. You need to be the role model. Skip leg day. As a producer, you run the risk of allowing leg day to go uncontrolled and taking an economic loss at the time of sale due to excessive leg growth. Know the family history of the sheep you're bringing into the herds. The problem of obsessively working the legs to an abnormally large size is passed down from the sire to offspring, proving it's all dad's fault. Producers with expressive ewes will have additional work during breeding and lambing seasons due to the excessive focus they put on their leg muscling. Ewes are more difficult to get bred, they would rather be working their glutes, and lambing time has higher rates of dystocia due to increased muscle size in the hind ends. The cuts from animals who are obsessed with leg day are tougher and drier for consumers, causing them increased jaw muscle work due to increased growth throughout the life of the sheep. Please remember, skip leg day.